especially children, elderly, disabled, in businesses. My question to the citizens of the city of Jackson is this. Did you become mayor when the mayor became mayor? I'm asking you that question because the mayor stated that when he become mayor, you become mayor. Now I'm gonna take in the question that you have. I receive calls daily, people trying to reach the mayor's office, and they cannot. They call him my office. He said that when he become mayor, you become mayor, which is not true. He said that, and I didn't hear the whole thing, that's why I take your questions, that he wanted to see me at City Hall. Former Mayor Frank Melton started uh, a situation where Robert Walker would run the city. He was out in the neighborhood. I'm out in these neighborhoods. With crime high in Jackson a few months ago, the U.S. Attorney, we were able to get the U.S. Attorney to come into Jackson, to Georgetown, meet with us. U.S. Attorney was present, some of you were there. Sheriff's Office was present, some of you were there. Police Department was present, some of you were there. But who was not present? The mayor of the city of Jackson. He was not there. We even want to talk about the high murders that we have. Last year around, what, about 130 people called me concerned and complaining. Out of over 100 murders, how many murders did the mayor team uh, go to? Zero. Zero. With all the murders in the city of Jackson. Even this year, with the high number of murders that we have. How many did the mayor go to? Zero. Zero. Now, Mr. Mayor, you gotta do your job. You gotta do your job. Now, let me correct something, and I know we'll have a lot of time. The mayor only been to my house one time. One time, and that was many years ago. He does not have a green light to come to Kenneth Stokes' house. And he, know, he knows that. He know he cannot come to Kenneth Stokes' house. All this about, I got to go to his house. Ask him how many times he's been to my house. And when was the last time? How many years ago was that? Ask him when the last time I accepted his phone call. Ask him. He'll tell you. No, I don't accept his phone calls. Because he's a liar. We call him in my circles, Lion Lumumba. That's what we call him. And you do not, you do not sit and talk and play with a liar. I want to get to the issue because I don't want to lose this issue. The issue is senior citizens in this city without water. They couldn't even have water to flush toilets. You wouldn't want that for your mother and your loved ones. This mayor had an opportunity to do something. And he did not. This man had an opportunity to get tankers in these neighborhoods. 
and I think it's important. Thank us why. A lot of these people, older people, they needed, they needed water to flush their toilets. They had to take the bottle of water they had to drink to try to flush their toilets. If the tankers were out, they're out now. City Council voted Monday. We have a tanker over in Cross and Walton School on Baylor Avenue. It should have been there at least a week ago. And I say that because if we had tankers, then we could have got water to the older people. And I want you to go talk to this gentleman here, ask him how he fresh his toilet. They house smell like boo-boo, raw boo-boo. They really don't want people to come into their home. The issue of tanker is not an act of God. Let me say that, because they're trying to merge the cold weather and ice to tankers. Tankers could have been on the streets in Jackson long before the bad weather got here. They had a businessman who had two tankers. Councilman Banks got one of them. Tried to get the city to pay the city through the mayor, said, I don't like him. How petty can you be? I don't like somebody, so I'm not going to use the tanker. That way the citizen, the older people especially, can't have water to flush their toilets. So Councilman Banks at that point was reaching out to get others to pay for it. At that point, the city said, well, we're going to pay for it. One tanker. But I see it's two out now. One is that What's the high school? Callaway. One is that far as here. Now that's the tanker that this man owned that the mayor didn't like. And we got one on Baylor Avenue. Now that's the tankers. That's the issue. They were incompetent. They should have had these tankers out in these neighborhoods. All this nonsense, but I've been talking to, to Birmingham, Alabama. Show me the tanker from Birmingham here. I've been talking all over the South. Show me the tankers all over the South. That's why we call him Lion Lumumba, because he'll tell a lie in a minute. The governor don't want to do nothing. The governor said, we done gave over 100,000 bottles of water. Do you think they told the council that? Huh? I got this go to the issue of soft on crime before I take your questions. I say that the mayor soft on crime. And I told you about the U.S. attorney. I told you about the sheriff, chief of police. When they come to me, the mayor don't come. We had the sheriff a few weeks ago where we tried to get him some money to put some more deputies on the street. Sheriff there, his command staff, who wasn't there? The mayor. The mayor of the city was not there. And people died on these streets. My question is, is the mayor soft on crime because of his relationship with dope boys and a relationship with dope. I say it again. Is the mass off on crime because of his relationship with dope boys or his relationship with dope? I take any questions you have. Mr. Stokes. Yes, sir. Are you suggesting that the mayor is involved in drug distribution or the mayor is doing drugs. Do you have any evidence to back up that statement? I'm suggesting this, as I just read. I'm saying there's a relationship. What does that mean? <laughs> you can look up the word relationship. It's a relationship. Let, let me explain that, because I want you to hear it. I'm saying that there's a relationship. 
between dope boy and the mayor. Do you have any evidence to back, to back and that up? And I'm, I'm saying this. People in criminal justice, people in law enforcement, they know about it and others know about it. And I'm saying it. And some of you know about it. And y'all have heard about it. Do you have any evidence that you can show us that the mayor is somehow involved with drugs? Or I'm saying drugs? that the mayor has a relationship with a dope boy. Now, I'll say it over and over. I said it the same way. I'm going to keep saying it the way I said it. Now, you ask him whether or not he has a relationship with a dope boy. Councilman Stokes, yesterday the mayor was critical of, uh, I guess, And, of course, that was Councilman Stokes responding to the water crisis and the people struggling in his ward who have been without water for over a week now. Of course, we are covering this story. We'll have the very latest on WAPT.com and in our later newscast. Right now, we're going to send it back to your regular programming. Council of a record.